Now, brought more breaking news to bring you this hour. A court in Saudi Arabia has just issued a final verdict in the murder case of Jamal Khashoggi. Five people have been sentenced to 20 years and another three people to between seven to 10 years. Mr Khashoggi, a journalist and prominent critic of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, was killed by a team of Saudi agents inside the kingdom's consulate in Istanbul. Let's get more now uh, from our Arab Affairs editor, Sebastian Usher. Um, Sebastian, before we go into who these men are and what the verdict is, just bring our audience up to date on the Jamal Khashoggi case. Well, if you go back to 2018 in October, the first reports began to emerge uh, that Jamal Khashoggi, who, is, who was a well-known Saudi journalist who had gone into self-imposed exile had gone missing uh, at the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. Some extraordinary rumours began to circulate, all of which virtually turned out to be true. Saudi Arabia for some time stonewalled and said that it had no knowledge of what had happened to him, that he'd left the consulate. In the end, the Saudi Saudis had to acknowledge, and this took a long, long time, a lot of pressure particularly from Turkey, which had all sorts of information that it revealed bit by bit, that it was a hit team from Saudi Arabia that had gone to Istanbul and that had killed Mr. Hashoji. Uh, from a Saudi perspective, it was still portrayed as an accident, essentially. They didn't mean to kill him. They were trying to take him back to Saudi Arabia, but things went wrong. And the blame was put specifically on the agents who were there. So it was a big attempt by Saudi Arabia to prevent any kind of blowback to a higher authority, obviously at, at the very top of that authority being Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. And, and then now on the back of all of that, this verdict? Yes. I mean, there was a verdict last year which gave five of those who had been put on trial um, death sentences. But not long after that, the son, one of the sons of Mr. Hashoji, gave his forgiveness uh, in Saudi Arabia. That essentially meant that the death penalty wasn't any longer being sought. Now, the names and the actual trial process itself has not been open to any journalists, to any uh, outside uh, monitors. So we, we still don't actually know precisely who those people are who have been sentenced. But the assumption would be that the five who received the death sentence have now had that commuted to 20 years. And the three others, as you said, uh, have had two seven years and one 10 years in prison. The Saudis obviously are hoping that this will draw a line under the killing, uh, that it will show that they have taken strong action, that these are long sentences. Uh, they are calling it the final verdict. The final verdict, again, depending on the fact that the Hachoti family has given its, its forgiveness, saying that there isn't any more recourse uh, for uh, judicial action now. But, of course, you know, the, the, the international community, particularly Turkey, which had demanded an international investigation, which had demanded a trial in Turkey, since that's where the crime took place, will not be satisfied by this by any means. Okay, Sebastian, thank you so much for, for that analysis there from you.